is RNAi? RNAi is a process of silencing or regulating gene expression by causing degradation to specific RNA molecules. RNA strands are created by the coating of a DNA double helix strand with the RNA polymerase II. The strand is then transported where ribosomes catalyze the information to create polypeptide chains that fold to create proteins. This is where RNAi can silence or interrupt certain proteins that are created. The concept was using double-stranded RNA or DSRNA administered to cells shutting off the synthesis of certain proteins. This was then administered to an animal known as C. elegans. C. elegans belong to the phylum nematoda. It is a non-parasitic, free-living nematode that possesses many of the same biological characteristics as humans. It's the only animal with its genome completely sequenced. As a simple nervous system, they're amenable to genetic analysis. They have a simple anatomy, which include hermaphrodites. They're transparent under a microscope, which is ideal for watching embryonic development. They have a short life cycle and a large brood. Original proof of RNAi was administered using DSRNA with a sequence that matched the ONC22 gene. This gene is responsible for producing a protein that controls twitching in this animal. After administration, the nematode began twitching in that specific area, then began twitching all over. This pr proved gene splicing was passed between cells. This process includes 70 nucleotide dsRNA, which is sequenced to match a specific set of mRNA. Then this dsRNA is introduced into a host with a natural dicer enzyme. This dicer enzyme is an endonuclease that breaks the 70 nucleotide hairpin RNA into 20 nucleotide fragments. Then the fragments are separated in a single-stranded RNA or ssRNA by breaking of the hydrogen bonds. Then the antisense strand of ssRNA binds to a RNA-induced silencing complex. The RISC carries the ssRNA to the mRNA that is complementary. Then the ssRNA degrades the mRNA and is then passed to the next molecule. Here's an image that might make this clear. The dsRNA is broken down by the dicer enzyme into 20 nucleotide strands, which then bind to the complementary strand, which undergoes a complex of the antisense strand with the RISC. This strand then binds to the mRNA, which degrades the strand and breaks it up. The native roles of DICER and RISC are a natural process. They degrade mRNA corresponding to proteins no longer needed. The DICER breaks down viruses and provides protection against retroviruses. The reasons for this research outweigh the, a lot of the costs. Many diseases are caused by protein synthesis defects, and mRNAi can prevent this. Being able to silence those genes would cure many genetic diseases. By silencing certain genes on C. elegans, we can correlate protein production to a specific set of genes and find the function of that protein. This aids in the mapping of the genome. 
And since C. elegans genome is completely mapped, we can quickly be able to identify certain sequences responsible for specific functions.